First thing you want to do is make sure that your slump cone is moist both inside and out. You want to perform this test on a flat, smooth, rigid surface free of any vibration. And it needs to be a non-absorbent surface. The cone will be held in place. You can stand on the ears or you can use the slump place and lock them into place. We'll fill the cone, three equal lifts by volume, rotating the concrete around the mouth of the cone to evenly distribute it. Maraud this lift throughout its depth without forcibly striking the bottom. Half of my rottings are going to be at an angle to ensure that I get proper penetration into the corners. The rest will be across the cross section. Second lift, we'll fill the mold to two thirds by volume. We'll rub this lift throughout its depth, penetrating the lift below by approximately an inch. Third and final lift, we'll completely fill the mold. We'll rub this lift throughout its depth, penetrating the lift below by approximately an inch. If at any time the concrete falls below the lip of the mold, you'll add a representative portion of concrete back into the mold and begin rotting where you left off. With a rolling, screeding action, you'll strike off the top of the mold. The tamping rod is the only approved method for striking off the mold. Remove any excess concrete. We're going to raise the mold in five plus or minus two seconds, clearing the concrete slump by 12 inches. You don't want any torsion or side to side movement as you raise this mold. We'll invert the cone, measure down to the offset center and get your reading for your slump. 